and welcome my beautiful friends and family to another full day of eating. Today we are doing a user requested full day of eating which is a gluten free day. So this is going to be high protein fitness meals but all gluten free. Something you don't see on the channel very often so I thought this was a really cool challenge for myself as well as a way to show you meals that I've never shown you guys before. And believe me, I've got some fire that I'm thinking of to show you guys. If you saw my last video, you know that I don't usually eat breakfast before my workouts right now but this morning I actually had to do some final edits for a video that went up just like 20 minutes ago and so I had to get something to of me so I had a whole baby watermelon and I had a grapefruit and then I finished editing the video went to the gym and that brings us to this point right here but before we do that I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video herb strong you may have heard of them before they are a CBD oil company and they actually have a few different ways that they give you the medium to get the CBD into your body CBD has a plethora of good benefits for me personally it helps a lot with my inflammation of my shoulder it also really helps to kind of slow your brain down at the end of the night and keep you from getting so angry anxious so it helps me get to sleep those are the main reasons that I like to use it but there are a ton of different reasons that other people use it for example Sammy's uncle actually used to take about six to eight ibuprofen every single day I know it's crazy he got on the CBD oil and then he hasn't been taking ibuprofen every single day so that's really awesome they have a CBD vape pen for people who like to smoke their CBD or inhale it vape it whatever you want to call it they offer the CBD oil which you put in your mouth if you want to check them out you definitely should the link will be under this video below definitely vouch for this company it's got high quality stuff been using it for a couple weeks now and I love it it's absolutely awesome so I think that's enough talking let's get into the first meal which I'm actually really excited about I'm challenging myself to try something Indian hi beautiful hi you need a bath yes I need to give you a bath big time huh yeah you want a bath I recently have been really loving Indian food so I've been wanting to learn how to cook and my aunt actually went and got me a vegan Indian cooking book I've never actually like met this woman or heard of her before but this whole book is filled with recipes and so I chose one today and we are going to make some masala soy granules on a bed of rice. It's gonna be really good, I'm excited. I hope I don't screw it up. Let's find out. Shout out TVP. If you've never heard of it before, it's called Textured Vegetable Protein. And basically it's defatted soy flour. It has a huge amount of protein. So if you are someone who is gluten free, who struggles to get protein, this is a huge secret. It's really awesome. I get mine from Bob's Red Mill. This recipe calls for one cup of it into one cup of boiled water and we're just gonna let it soak for five minutes so that it can kind of uh, like rehydrate. So first I'm adding cumin and turmeric. So we've got a tablespoon of olive oil in there. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cumin seeds and a half teaspoon of turmeric. We're just gonna let this sizzle so that the seeds get kind of toasted a little bit. All right, next up we're throwing in the onion. We got a half onion until this gets a little bit browned. My kitchen smells so delightful right now. Okay, so the onion has been sizzling for a little bit. My kitchen smells delightful. Now I'm gonna throw in a little bit more than a tablespoon of minced ginger on there, and we're gonna let this simmer. This is what the TVP is looking like after it rehydrates. It kinda has the same consistency as like, you know, ground beef or something like that. I always call it the vegan ground beef. We're gonna add this. And the final spices, we have half a teaspoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of garam masala. Garam masala I found at Whole Foods, uh, but it is, it's like a blend of different spices. You could definitely look it up and make it yourself. Now we're just mixing it up, letting it cook for another three or four minutes so that it gets a little bit browned. And then this is ready to serve on whatever we wanna serve it. And I think we're gonna serve it on some rice. And fast forward and I've plated it pretty well, I would say too, I'm pretty proud of this. I put it on a plate of brown rice that was cooked, so that's about a cup of brown rice. I did maybe about a cup of cooked black beans on there. I threw the TVP masala on there on the top and then threw some cilantro on the top of that just to make it all look really pretty and also just add some extra flavors. This has like so much protein. Just the TVP itself is something like, uh, I think it has like 50 grams of protein. Plus it got the beans, so this is like a power pack protein thing. Obviously, you could split this into multiple servings, but you know, your boy gonna eat the whole damn thing. In case you ever wondered, this is my setup. I have a soft box here and then I shoot it off of a, just like a white panel that I bought for like a dollar. And then I put it on like a little texture thing that I got from Lowe's. So yeah, that's kind of like my little studio. That's how it looks cool. We're looking for Zelda. Boom. There it is. <clears throat> That's what I want. Give it to me. Give it. Give it to me. I am going to be going to Australia for the Vegan Perth 
Australian Expo. I'm super excited about it. I'm leaving at the end of the month and it is a 15 or 16 hour flight for the first flight. Sammy got me a Nintendo Switch in during Christmas and uh, I've played Mario Odyssey, which was really fun. After I finished that, I haven't really played it very much because I haven't had a lot of time to do it, but this is the perfect time, the perfect opportunity to play something. So I'm gonna get the Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm really freaking stoked about it. I'm also really pumped for new games to come out because I feel like they haven't developed a lot of stuff yet. If you guys have anything that you suggest I should play, let me know. That guy was stoked about the he Spyro remake. Super nice, but I mentioned Spyro and he was like, "Yes, yes!" <laughs> so that was cool. What are we getting now? You need some clothes? Yeah, I need a shirt. You got what's going on tomorrow? I have my cousin's birthday party. She's oh. turning one. My baby cousin. It's not a birthday for the kid. It's the birthday for the adults, right? Yeah, exactly. Pretty much. So everyone can get wasted. <laughs> You guys what the next meal is but first I want to show you the vegetables that we're gonna be using in this meal and I've got some asparagus cooking in the frying pan here and this is kind of like the the way that I do mine is I just have my asparagus cooked and then I throw a bunch of lime juice on there the more the merrier I like to literally just pound it with lemon juice did I say lime juice, said lime juice. I said lime juice huh that's okay lemon juice lemon juice right. fam yes I like the lemon juice on here. I just cook this until they get soft, and that way there's no like, you could use soy sauce too, but this way there's no sodium. And in my boiling pan over here, I have mashed potatoes that I just made, and then this is kind of like a little secret. I showed this in a long time ago in, in an older full day eating, but what I do is I, I can't do it because I just have one hand, but I will mash these black beans down, and over, you know, over time, once I mash them enough, it makes kind of a black bean mashed potatoes so you get extra protein in kind of just has like a little bit of black bean flavor but yeah I'll, I'll mash them until they literally become the same texture and so that there's no chunks anymore i'll show you in a second put a little bit of a, a little ring a mixed veg around it and then pour it in girl. and then we're throwing the gravy in the middle yeah i'm making some aesthetic meals today these look real pretty of course you got cobes here waiting patiently <laughs> Right next to my ladies here. I thought this looked dope. I'm just like playing around with my 50 millimeter. I freaking love this lens. But check it out. I got my Ani shoes. You guys ever wanna check these out? It's like my favorite flat bottom shoes. The name is As Nature Intended and they're vegan and they're really, really cool. If you guys wanna check them out, the code and link below will donate a small portion of your purchase to Mercy for Animals, which is really cool. We need more bananas. Banana. So we are at the banana store. <laughs> bananas galore. <laughs> Ivana whiting me. Cool thing about this store is that they they always have some stuff that's just on the brink of uh, of going rotten. Extinction. Yeah, <laughs> which is perfect, because that's what we need. This actually looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're down to the last two meals here. And I say two meals because we're gonna cook two at once. I actually am not super hungry for more than one meal, but I have two more meals that I wanna show you guys. I ate a ton with that first meal, the Indian the Indian meal that I made. But I wanna show you these two dishes. So we're gonna cook them at the same time. One is savory and the other is sweet. I think you guys are gonna like both of these, but first I'll show you the savory one. All right, this recipe is extremely easy and you can use either cooked brown rice or cooked lentils. I've got cooked red quinoa here. Oops, steamy. Basically, we're doing a chipotle salsa bowl, so this is actually really awesome, especially if you are cutting and dieting. You can use a ton, a big bed of greens, like lettuce greens down here. So any type of uh, mixed salad greens that you wanna put down on the bed, and then you're just going to throw your cooked whatever. I'm using quinoa. Probably around, I'd say, maybe a cup here. I'm gonna save the rest. Then we're gonna do, you can either do like black beans or pinto beans, or I'm gonna do some chickpeas on top of that for a little bit of extra protein. And then I have my favorite salsa. This is La Salsa Chilena. It has no sodium, it's awesome. But you can use whatever salsa you want to put that on there and that's what's going to flavor it. And then you can never have too much cilantro, so I'm throwing cilantro on top of that. I'm just gonna top it with some of these sliced and fanned pieces of avocado. You also don't have to do that, that's just me. And that's it, that's literally it. When you eat it, you wanna mix it all up so that it becomes one big mush. And it just like, it's a very fresh, crunchy version of, you know, just like a, a rice and bean bowl, but it's really good. It's kind of like Chipotle, but you don't have to pay $9 for it. And the guacamole is not extra. Not ordering meat, so why are you charging me extra for the guac, come on now.
And for our sweet dish, we are gonna show you how to make some oat pancakes since this is gluten-free. You've probably seen this before when we did our little YouTube house earlier. Well, it wasn't technically a YouTube house, but basically what you're going to do is you're gonna do a cup and a half, right? cup and a half of rolled oats into a processor. And then we're also gonna do a cup of your favorite type of milk. We're doing soy milk here for the extra protons. And then you saw us get these bananas earlier. We're gonna throw these three bananas in there and then we're going to blend this. And that's how simple that is. That becomes pancake batter. Now obviously you can top your pancakes with that whatever you want, but if you are gonna do syrup and you can find this brand at the store, I don't know why, but this brand just does it for me. Like when I grew up, I was always an Aunt Jemima kid, but this is where it's at, it's so freaking good. And just like that, my friends, we are at the end of this full day of eating. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Actually, I realized that all of these meals were high protein. So this is a high protein, gluten-free, full day of eating. I also really wanna do, and I've seen a lot of you guys comment this before, I wanna do a soy-free full day of eating because I think that would be also really interesting. I think a lot of people think that there's, you know, kind of limited stuff that you can get protein from, and I definitely have a lot of stuff to say about that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that if you try these recipes, tag me on Instagram or in your stories or whatever. I'd love to see you guys making them. I love when you guys try out the food. Next week, I already know I'm only gonna have time to make one video, so I am sorry I'm not gonna have as much content up next week. I gotta get my taxes done, and then I gotta get ready to fly to Australia, which I'm really freaking excited about. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you leave a comment below, let us know what you thought, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Team Beyond the Week, CT. Lift heavy or die, Myron, motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week.